Chocolatito Gonzalez primarily fights out of the high guard defense. One of the biggest weaknesses of the high guard is that it naturally leaves openings around the flanks if the guard isn't adjusted in time. Even though Chocolatito has shown to have excellent defense while using this, Estrada landed many of his shots through exploiting this opening. As you see, Estrada enters with a left hook to the body and then shoots the right hook around the guard. However, as I said, Chocolatito is an excellent user of the high guard defense and blocks the initial left hook perfectly. Even though Estrada attempts the hook around the guard to get to Chocolatito's body, Chocolatito first steps back to create distance, as distance is always your first line of defense. And then he also pivots at the last moment to change the angle so that his guard lines up to catch the punch. This is what makes elite boxers like Chocolatito have success with the high guard defense despite its aforementioned opening around the flanks. The key is to adjust your position so that your opponent doesn't have a clear shot at that opening, but then Estrada just exploits the other side. Likewise, here are some of the cleanest punches Estrada landed in the fight, which are without coincidence looping punches around the guard. However, I don't want you all to start thinking you could just start throwing looping punches for free when you see your opponent with his hands up. Any repetitive action or predictable action can be adjusted to or countered. Chocolatito won't just get hit for free. For every landed hook around his high guard that I've shown you, there are two or three attempts he blocks, rolls, or pulls from. And in this instance, he's going to do all three at the same time. So you see he rolls, he pulls, and then blocks three hooks in a row that he defends different ways. You even see Estrada set up the hooks by probing with his right hand, then feinting the jab to the body, then throwing the hook and still missing. So Estrada is doing everything correct here. The right hand occupies and tightens Chocolatito's guard. The body jab feint aims to lower the guard. And then the real attack is the hook, yet Chocolatito is still able to defend against it since he has the defensive awareness to protect the open flanks. The point is, some kind of manipulation or deception is needed to land punches on good boxers. Estrada did both of these here and still didn't land his punch, so you may find success using the same exact setup that he did, but what else can he do? The uppercut hook combination works well because the uppercut serves to tighten the guard if it doesn't split it entirely, and also making an opening for the hook around the side. So again you see Estrada tap at Chocolatito's guard, the uppercut tightens the guard and then the hook just comes around. And that's it for this one. If you want to see me go in depth on another master of the high guard defense, check out this video I did on Dimitri Bivol using it against Zerto Ramirez. And as always, thank you to all my patrons, Jason Mahinen, Grant Gabriel, Albert Chen, Jeff, Dimitri Drozdov, Andre, Gosalageza, Mark Price, Marshall Bott, Suaz Naber, and Jesus Galindo, as well as my channel member, Hot Pocket Maestro. You guys keep the channel going, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.